Hello, and welcome to Podcast But Outside, episode 74. This is the Interview Strangers on the Street podcast, but this episode is very special. It is a political episode. Our first political episode, intentionally. And we went to a Trump rally. Ooh. Donald Trump is running for president. Oh, it was Donald. That's... That was the real. I thought it was. Who do you think? It was one of the others. No, no. Donald Trump. He's uh, trying to be president again. Okay. And we went to a, a rally for his supporters on the streets and talked to some very interesting folks who had very strong opinions about Donald Trump. Yes. Within the episode, I claim that I was a devout uh, Trump worshipper. Uh, that was just to so I could blend in and really speak to people. Well, you were scared, right? Well, we don't have to. Yeah. 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 You were telling me how scared you were. Well, yeah. And in the episode, I say that I am an undecided voter, but since the episode, I have decided who I'm going to vote for. Ooh, who are you doing it Well, for? I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say the person I'm voting for uh, does not have coronavirus. Oh, which and, one is... Uh, well, depending on if you think the news is fake or not, who knows, but that is who oh, I am voting for. I don't watch that stuff. Yeah, and you guys can vote too if you want to. Um, just text uh, your dad, I, I think, your candidate, mm -hmm. and that counts. But yeah, vote. Please vote. This is a great episode. We're really proud of it. And I think you're all in for a treat. The music this week is by Puka, Puka Cola. Puka Cola. Okay. They've made, he's made music for us in the past. He's made music for us again. And he succeeded. Great job, Puka. Enjoy. They got a table and some chairs and some headphones. Some dollars and a sign and some microphones. And in the shine. Hello and welcome to Podcast But Outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew. My name is and um, if you've never heard or watched this show before, the point of it is for is for Cole and I to set up a table on the sidewalk and interview strangers. You're good. You're good, police officer. Officer. Uh, we pay those strangers a dollar. We're all about interesting conversations with interesting, unique people. And today, we're at a very interesting and unique event. A Trump rally. Is it a rally? <laughs> yes, it's a rally. Okay. It's, well, a, it's a Korean Trump rally. It's a Korean Trump rally in Koreatown, Los Angeles. And... We're surrounded by Trump supporters, both Korean and non, and police officers. I Wanna think hand to these fine officers over here? Got some officers over here keeping us safe, hopefully. Well, what I heard was to keep an eye on this building up here. Yes. Because I guess people are throwing stuff so, off of their balconies into this crowd. It's unclear if the stuff they're throwing is good or bad. Yeah. It, it could be, be like, like a snack, like popcorn. Yeah. A soft fall right into your uh -huh. mouth. Or it could be a hard snack, like um, bricks. Um, we're trying to keep socially distant. There are a lot of people here, and they do not care. Yes, for well, the listeners, we have masks on. Andrew has his face shield on. Yep. I just feel like I don't need one because I have glasses, and the, I also think everything's a hoax. So, One funny thing that I've noticed here is that every single person that has come up to talk to us before we started recording hold their mask down to talk to us. Yeah. They're like, hey, and then I'm, and then they say something, and, but in order for them to hear them, they pull their mask down, which is mm -hmm. like, what's the point if you're going to took it off when you talk? Um, but everyone is wearing a mask here. Most of, the the most, most of the time. There's a lot of people who aren't as well. We are recording this on Saturday, October 3rd. Um, it's Saturday, October 3rd. Uh, President Trump is currently in a hospital with coronavirus. Mm-hmm. By the time this comes out, who knows what will have happened. Um, but in the meantime, these people are still uh, very much in support of him, which, you know, I guess he could use their support. Oh, these police officers are so kind. They're yeah. walking, they're, they're not obstructing our camera view. Do you want to sit down? I mean... Which, screw them, because we like when that happens. Yeah. You know? um, we did see some, uh, some, a fight happen earlier. Um, uh, someone, uh, I think a liberal, a, a, a dirty lib, um, was oh, interviewing hard. a Trump supporter and the Trump supporter got very very mad and was screaming quite a lot and the police had to intervene so that was a good um, omen for the beginning of this whole event omen more like own men because that lib got owned the lib did get owned um, and yeah we're just here willing to talk to people um, Cole and I are not political I'm personally undecided mm -hmm. uh, I'm an undecided voter uh, I've been undecided since the last election 
um, I couldn't make up my mind then between Trump and Hillary, and I'm still kind of deciding. I've been deciding for about four years. Yeah, you've been on the fence for a while now. Yeah, so I maintain my undecided status, so I'm hoping that some of the folks here can convince me of, of either side, I guess. Yeah, and I am, you know, I'm sure as you all know, very pro-Trump. I believe in everything he stands for. He's our savior, and I think he's the best president that we've had these last four years. So yeah, those are that's our perspective, um, undecided and unabashedly pro-Trump. So hopefully we get along with some of these people. Oh, YMCA. This is the Korean version of YMCA. No, I wonder what that means. No, it's T R U M P. Oh, Our right, mama right, right, say right, it right, with me. T R U M P. Hey, girls. Wanna sit down? That's okay. Hi. Cause he's in the I White House, I mean saying. he's in the hospital, but he's gonna get better soon. You think he'll pull through? Um, I can't speculate. Hmm. Cause also if, if it goes one way or the other, it might make me decide quicker. Sure. And I, I don't want to decide yet, I like being undecided. Oh, you like, you like the uncertainty. The thing is, you know, something that I've thought for a while, our country is so ridiculously divided that there's not enough people like me who are squarely in the middle undecided. Right. That's what I say. I say, don't be divided, be undecided. Yeah, I guess that is better than division. Yes, we need more undecided voters out there. I've been saying that for years and years. All right. Man, I don't know. What I, I don't know. I'm just worried about Trump. Oh, like he might be sick. If he dies, I'm going to kill myself. Really? Yeah, in solidarity. That's a good idea. I feel so comfortable here. Really? Yeah. Well, like among your people? Yeah, the Koreans. Oh, I thought you meant the Trump supporters. Oh, that too, yes. Really? Mm-hmm. You feel comfortable here? Yeah, like the tensions aren't raised at all. I feel calm, cool, collected. Really? There's, a, there's like a ton going on that's definitely overwhelming, but in the best way possible, you know what I mean? If, if you're sticking around. I love Chicago because if I had oh, this hat on in Chicago, I would get beat down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Thanks. If I had this hat on in Chicago, I would get beat down. Literally get beat down. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. What's your name? Have a seat. Ziff. Z-I-F-L. Ziff. Ziff. Z-I-F-L. Z-I-F-L. Z -I -F -L. Imagine Ziff. So Otis Sistrunk's cousin, the football player who was here in the 70s. Mm. So you're from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. He, he, and li I, he lived in Chicago for many years. Cool. Yes. How are you? I'm great. How Wonderful. are you? What side of town were you on? I was in Boys Town. Yeah, that's 3600 North. You get off at Wilson Avenue and you just go right across the street. One of my hangouts, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been in Los Angeles, man? I've been here exactly one week. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> one week? And who would have believed that I, I ran into a, a President Trump's rally. We're praying for the president. Wait, you ran into this? You weren't here on purpose? No, I saw someone with a President Trump hat on. That's and crazy. And you followed him? And I told him how great it was. And then... I say, I came down here and I said, oh my God, I just ran into a rally mm -hmm. Man. because we're praying so hard for the president. Mm -hmm. And you were supporting the president before you saw this guy, Was right? Was I supporting the president? I'm just trying to make sure the rally Not didn't sway Not to sway brag, you. but when I twiddle, they put his stuff right behind mine. Oh, really? Only because I'm from Chicago. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason they Wait. put his President Trump stuff behind mine. What I do you like mean that. behind yours? You know how you, you, you the, the people who engineers the, what comes up. Mm -hmm. I'll put some up on Chicago, and then they'll put some for President Trump up right directly behind me. And I suggested to him in my Twitter that he should postpone the election. He mm -hmm. waited three weeks to take my advice. Three weeks later, he took, He's gonna he postpone. took it. Yeah. Wow. But we're praying so hard. We're, hey, I hear you, man. Got to bring him through. But it's a sad day in Chicago when you can't wear a President Trump hat. Mm -hmm. So you, so did you have some bad experiences there oh, wearing well, the hat? Did I have some bad experiences? I'd like to hear about that, yeah. Well, there was a rally before prior to him becoming president. Okay. And there was a guy named Jedediah Brown who went up to there, ripped the microphone off. Mm. He didn't have Secret Service then. Mm. Or the guy would have been in jail. Mm. And then everybody who had on anything that was President Trump, they beat us up. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. It, it's sad. It's a sad day in this country. Yeah, you got when beat you up. You're so, you got yeah, beat up. I, I got. I'll be honest with you. I got a right in the jaw. Wow. Whoa. Now, Did you recover? You see me sitting here, don't you? I know, but yeah. I can't see your jaw. Yeah, we can't see your jaw. <laughs> no, it's all good. I don't need to. I'm just curious. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, missing a tooth. Okay. Is that what happened? I never got it back. Is that oh. true? That was from the fight. I never put it back in. Your front tooth. To, it, yes, you see it. Don't yeah, you? it's missing. So and is if it? If you don't believe it. 
you can, I'll send you an article when I told one of the Chicago Reader, they wrote about this. And I said, this is going to be until the President Trump get back in, I'm going to leave it just like this to show what happens in Chicago when you support President So your Trump. missing tooth is like a badge of honor almost. It, there's no question about it. So, uh, so do you think maybe, I mean, you're, you have missing teeth for Trump, right? Oh my God. Should yes. we start maybe a movement? And everyone that? who has at least a teeth missing, the you should be ready to vote for Donald Trump so he can oh, pass I, a, a, I, a, a, a healthy bill. I like that. I was more so implying that we pull our teeth out in solidarity with the movement. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not into inflicting pain. Okay. Oh, I mean, we, <laughs> but, there's no Vicanans. But, so. but you think if you're missing a tooth, you, should, you should vote for a, Trump. That's a signal okay. that you're with Donald Trump because you heard the guy in L.A. Okay. say that he lost the teeth for okay. Trump. Mm -hmm. So if he can lose one for Trump, I can lose one too. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this much. It's too bad kids can't vote because they're missing a lot of teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, okay, wait. I have, uh, I have a question. Yeah. So, you know, the, the left is kind of, they're kind of making fun of Trump right now for being sick. Oh, you we got to check you because you said Trump. It's President Trump. Oh, sorry, President yes, Trump. Sorry, 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 sorry. President Savior Trump. <laughs> they're, they're getting... Now you know my name is Sis Trunk, right? Is this Trunk. Z oh, you just changed your last name to Trump? I, Trunk. T-R-U-N-K. Oh, so Trunk? I'm a descendant of Trump. Your last Trump. name's Trunk? Mm. My last name is Sis Trump. <laughs> so when, you know, in the old days, we're, we're, we're real, when you came across this country, they asked you your name and they couldn't spell it right, so they'll miss a letter or something. Mm. So in my case, I think they put the K I where get it, it should have been a P. I mm. get it. It, yeah, wow. Wait, uh, okay, so the left is making fun of President Trump for being sick. They're calling him weak. They're celebrating. That is so sad. It's, sad. it's, so, it's sad, sad. so sad, right? That it's disgusting. And they're also accusing him of faking it, which is uh, it's a disgusting thing to accuse uh, someone so respectable of. And so I was wondering, you know, do you think it would m maybe be wise? I mean, I've been thinking about maybe getting COVID myself. Not all of it, just like a little <laughs> bit of the virus in me. <laughs> In solidarity. Why are you laughing? Yeah, just uh, in solidarity for Trump. Well, let's wait. To, to show the left that, like, this is actually real and it's dangerous. No, here's a better one than that. They say once the, it, once the president recovered in the next few weeks, now he's going to be able to go and tell the world yeah. that I've conquered this virus. I proved that we can survive it. And now I should be be rewarded with another sure. term very simple do you think because it showed them that you can survive in this, this sure. virus so you're you're you know you're black man from chicago how does your family feel about your political views do they share your views or do you get in arguments so with you them you figured out why i left now right I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, that's why i'm curious yeah 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 have you been beat up less since you've been here uh actually i haven't went to compton yet <laughs> okay. i haven't been alone what is it that's your next stop right that, uh, well Probably two days before the election. Oh. Okay, okay. Then well, everybody will be ready to convert. They'll be able to see that President Trump had recovered. The economy, this economy is unbelievable as fast as it's recovering. It's doing well, It's huh? gonna. The economy has recovered as fast as the president's going to recover. Uh, yeah. You know what? I should have a TV crew to hide across the street, and I should go to Compton. You know where all the key neighborhoods are? And yeah, we yeah, should just yeah. see how they respond. I got my flag too. Oh, by the go, I should write Jesus. Flag. Oh, where's your flag? American flag or this Trump flag? This is going back to Chicago. My Trump flag. That's mm. a tough call, though. I mean, if you could only choose one, what would it be? American flag or Trump flag? Oh, I guess you choose Trump flag. Yeah, I would. Do, uh, well, it's a tough call, though. Yeah, uh, it sure is. But I, uh, I'm so excited. This is like a garment, in a sense. They can't see it at home, but oh, you can't. No, they can't see it. <laughs> how do I look? Right now it just says rump. Am I ready for a date or not? It just says rump it right now. It just says rump right now, but yeah. that's cool too. But I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so excited. I'm happy the African-American community is going to come around. Yeah. See, I told them in Chicago, President Trump only needs one, two out of every African-American. One, two out of every African-American. One, two out of ten. One or two out of ten. Oh, one to two win. out of ten. Okay. Um, uh, uh, the other guy... Slow Joe, he needs eight out of ten to win. Right. And mm. guess what? I can personally tell you in the black community, Joe is he's, he's done farting, huh? He is not he's gonna win any votes yeah. in the black community. So does slow Joe imply that Trump is fast? Ooh. 
fast on his feet, fast in his mind. Oh. Mm. Hopefully fast. Fast to make sure that these, when he talked about, you know what? He must have knew something about Chicago voting. Because, mm. you know, when Kennedy won, you know, uh, 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 Mayor Daley and Joe Kennedy rigged the election. Mm. Mm. The president knew about that. The president knows that Chicago can turn elections. Because mm. mm. they send people over to Wisconsin. They send people over to the Ohio. But wait, well, are you voting in Chicago or are you voting here? Oh, I am voting here, baby. I got all But then my your paperwork. vote doesn't matter as much, no, huh? No, I got all my paperwork, baby. <laughs> I'm not playing with these people. Oh, you're voting many times? No, these are these are change of address. These are not voting, by the way. <laughs> This okay. is to change my address. Okay. And I'm going to change my voting here, too, also. Okay. Yeah. I'm here. I love L.A. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's great. So I'm excited about L.A. So LA one is week, a breath huh? of fresh air. You just moved here. One week, uh, and I'm excited. And I'll be honest with you, I came to sell a film to LeBron James, but I'm not going to approach him until after the election. Oh, what are you trying to do with LeBron? I'm going to sell him a film. I have a film. He's interested in minority films. Oh, you got a film for him. Films of interest, yes. Mm. But I'm not going to I'm not going to approach him until after the election because... He's one that's still in darkness. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, so what do you think? I mean, what do you think will change after the election? People will kind of. A couple of things are going to change. Yeah. First, they're going to see that the president is sincere about changing the atmosphere, the attitude of all Americans. Okay. Mm. There's but, a mean, reason why he doesn't want to talk bad about those other groups. Then he'll be doing just like they mm. do. So you think he, his plan is to do that the second four years as opposed to the first four years that he well, had? Well, I think he's right. done great in the first four years. Oh, okay. okay. So you th you at, think America's great right now? I wouldn't have this hat on. Yeah. I don't. I, if you look at my clothes, you don't see no Nike. Uh, oh, I shouldn't. I can't say Nike. They're not one of the sponsors, right? Oh, you, you can say Nike. <laughs> I don't believe in advertising. Oh, nice. But so when I put something on, it means something. It means something. Mm. So I got my flag. I'll have or it on take something out, like your tooth. That's right. I should just walk around and put Donald Trump. Put yeah. Put one teeth that say T. <laughs> I got a few left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is saying, "Where did this guy come from?" I like from? that. I like Chicago. that. Chicago. Chicago, man. Yeah, but we're just America. They're gonna find out that America has become a beautiful. And one thing I hate about black people, and that's coming Whoa. from a black man. Okay. We have uh, all of I these. Wasn't, I wasn't sure. Thank you for that. And, and after you go, can I tell you one thing I hate about black people? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, my friend. I tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because you're going to have to. It's going to take you too long to finish up <laughs> with what you hate about. <laughs> no, you go. You go. You go first. Is you that go first. once President Trump is back in, yeah. then they can't see every four years in Chicago mm -hmm. and the Democratic Party, they play that racist game. Mm. He's a racist. He's a racist. And I asked my friends, when did he become it? Because he's got pictures of uh, Donald Trump, mm -hmm. not, not Donald Trump, uh, what's Al Sharpton, mm -hmm. Jesse Jackson, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, she said she's waving at us. She loves oh, Donald she, Trump. Well, she I think she said, said fuck Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. I think, no, that's, what, she I think that's what she tuck? said. Yeah. She said tuck. Oh, tuck, tuck Donald Trump? Yeah, you know how you, when you oh, tuck him. Oh, you so tuck him in? Tuck him. He said, she oh, said she tuck, tuck Donald him. Trump. She said tuck Donald Trump? Yeah, she said tuck him. Hey, talk to Donald God Trump. God bless you all, and thank you so much. They thank had you. A, they had, did you see the rally that the careers to had today? We'd love to talk to you if you want to sit down. Miss, miss, mm. he wants to talk to you. Come here, sit for a minute. You want to talk for a minute? We want to talk to you about the event. Come on, sit down. About the event. Yeah, this is a down. short event. Sit down. It's all done. Sit down. Talk Donald okay, Trump. Okay, guys, thanks from Chicago. Here's our special guest. Okay. I okay. came from Seattle. Whoa, oh, there's you so came, much oh, happening right now. Really oh, is this a get well soon card for Trump? Yeah. Oh, it's oh, a get well soon card. We'd love to sign oh, it. I'll sign it. He, sure. He'll sign it. Yes. I'm gonna sign it. Tuck you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Food. Hey, wait. You come back though, Mr. Trunk. You know, I have my own pen. I'm gonna use. Wait, I'm handing own. out food. That's nice. Are you gonna come back? Come back. Yeah, come back okay. in five minutes. We're so, we're so, we'll talk to you. We're just signing a get well. Oh, I don't want to touch soon. that because of the virus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're signing a get well soon uh, card for Dr. Donald Trump. Yeah. And what is this? A snack? It's a, it's a Korean rice cake. Okay, rice cake. thank you so much. Yeah, he's going to write Tuck Donald Trump because that's what someone just yelled tuck, at us. Tuck you, sir. Cole. We got Tuck Trump. and Oh, you got to write oh, one too. She's working right now. She, yeah. So tell us about the event. Sorry, what's your name? 
Uh, my name is Christina. I flew from C uh, Seattle. Just to, yeah. just to attend this? Yes, uh, just to attend this. Whoa. I also came to donate for the for the event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we collected some money all together. Wow. And I brought it with me to support for this event. Is there a, a so you're Korean, I take yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a Korean kind of group like this in Seattle as well? Or oh, no? yes. Oh, there is. Oh, yes. Okay, great. They okay, just good. could not make it here. But I think next a uh, couple weeks uh, they're going to get together in Houston mm. and uh, Dallas okay. so you're oh, doing so you're gonna be you, doing a lot of traveling you're doing the whole Korean Trump circuit huh I don't know if I'm going to attend the next place but a lot of people are getting involved oh yeah what are you waiting on your results uh, the results are great mm. oh okay. yeah. good I meant your so health I think results. the majority of the people I think people need to be aware the majority of people support Trump mm. they are aware of the danger from China mm. not China CCP and mm. uh they are aware of what's going on. Mm. We know who is more honest, who mm. is a hard worker. Okay. Just because he doesn't speak pretty, mm. that doesn't mean he's the best. Uh, he's not the best work uh, worker uh, mm. for the United States. He's the greatest leader. We one one of the greatest leader we have. Would you die okay. for him? Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Don't ask me that question. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough question. <laughs> but I think uh, I have a lot of respect for him. At okay. first, I didn't know. Mm. But the more I know how um, sacrificial he is mm. for the country, for the mm. people, mm -hmm. mm. and he worked uh, even even during the um, holidays mm. and no other uh, presidents ever did that right so i have right. so much respect that his sincerity to save america is so true sure so mm -hmm. powerful what so even though we are minorities uh, like a lot of people say we don't feel that way sure. we, we never had this kind of racism and all the people that i talk to mm. If they made a the mistake, they have to pay the price. But anybody who do righteous work, righteous deeds, mm. they don't say they have been mistreated. Mm. Mm. And, you know, he's kept his word on stuff, right? He said to bring back jobs. I, I pretty much got a job. I'm getting a cut from the government every two weeks. You know uh, what I mean? Absolutely. The, the, the economy I, I've never had this much money before. Yeah. 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 Not in the past few and months. And the yeah. idea of bringing America, um, American company from China back to the United States, mm. I think that is the best news that I ever heard. Mm. And how do you feel about Trump being sick right now? It's not, not so great, huh? Uh, nobody's. Uh, I lost my sleep uh, mm. after I heard about the news. Wow. It can happen to anybody. Right. But that's why you got to be safe. Wear your mask. Stuff exactly. like that. But exactly. But did he did he create this uh, this coronavirus? Why are they blaming him? We know where it came from. Can you? Is, can we, but I'm, we're trying to get the word out. You know mm -hmm. about it and stuff. So, can you just tell the camera like, be safe, wear a mask, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, be safe. Uh, keep hygiene. Yeah. Uh, intact and uh, we're, everybody we're, needs to respect each other yeah. and, and other and people's wear a mask. health. And, and wear a yes, mask. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Yeah. 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 Wherever yeah. you go, yeah. no matter what. And it's stay healthy. And stay <laughs> healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's important. Yeah. 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 Well, I hope. Where are you going? Are you going home tomorrow or? Oh, I'm I'm catching flight tonight. Oh, you're gonna catch a couple things maybe. Yeah. 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 So it meant a lot to me. That's why I had to fl fly down. Yeah, I just want to get your opinion on some stuff about like his perception that the left perceives him. You know, they call him nicknames like President Cheeto. Have you heard that? They call him President Cheeto because he's orange and stuff like that. Have you heard that? That's really condescending. I know. I, 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 I That's because inhumane. Yeah. Look at themselves, yeah. what they are. And Cheetos, because Cheetos are like the worst snacks, you right, know? Right. They should come up with like, they pick a better orange snack, you know, like right. Doritos. Those are so much better. Or like, right. you know, you're, you're I have tangerine. never seen people who are so rude, sure. yeah. so unkind, mm -hmm. yeah. and then they always try to bite a flesh off from the conservatives. Right. Mm. And yeah. I think it's really disgusting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we should kind of change the narrative, give him a better nickname, you know? Yes. Right. Like, you know, like something else that's a little bit more like a tangerine or something mm -hmm. like that's better yeah. than Cheeto so or cute, why you know, name? You know, why name? if we did that to them right. they will come back to us with a big punch mm. yeah you know, I think it is so unfair it's sure. imbalanced mm -hmm. I mean I'm from third country originally and I'm very proud America proud American sure. and I'm so grateful to America for yeah. what they did to our country and I am grateful to each American sure honestly I lived my life being uh, appreciating every American that I meet. Good. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's not going to stop until I die. Yeah. You know, I, I love America. I respect America. I love American people. Good. But they need to know what is right and what is wrong. Sure. And that they need to respect law and order. Okay. I got a good nickname for, pres for him. You ready? Yeah. My nickname is President Trump. 
Yes. Oh. There we go. go. That's the nickname. I right would there. spread the, the name. <laughs> yes, you'll yeah. spread a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Re real quick, just like for Trump's speedy recovery, would you like to say a prayer with us? Oh, yes. yes? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. You, you can lead it. Almighty God, mm -hmm. we oh. know everything is in your plan. Mm -hmm. We thank you for giving this opportunity to be together, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. worship for President Trump. Yep. to Go have off. him get better soon yep. and uh, we also understand that you gave him the little mini vacation to recuperate yeah. from all the hard work that he had done for the last three and a half years and you just gave him a little vacation so that he can face mm -hmm. the mighty the 30 days ahead of his uh, mm. re-election and god and we hope that we hope that joe biden may also maybe catch it too so Trump's not the only weak <laughs> right, one right 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 uh, it can happen to anybody anybody so. Joe yeah. Kamala any of them yeah. and everybody who has uh, co uh, coronavirus right. we pray mm -hmm. for each like one of you, them to like get you better. or anyone yeah, anyone. yeah. like yeah. you yeah totally yeah. so um you know, I like that you looked at it as like a vacation for him. I like yeah. that. That's yeah. a nice way to he look at it. He just gave him a little break, a little break. so that he can stay, uh, step back and catch a breath yeah, from catch all a breath. these punch yeah. and bites that everybody have given to him. Hey, we could all use a little corona break. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We're going to pay you a dollar and give you a sticker. Oh, dollar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's back. Thank you. Ziff is back. Thank all right. I can't find yeah. a more sticker, but here's a dollar. Here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Good luck. Have fun on your flights. Bye bye. Great. She's awesome. Hey. We have all ready. Testing. Maybe Trump's in there. Maybe he's there taking him to a different hospital. Um. So, how was your little break? What'd you get up to? Uh, I know. I got educated. What oh, I get really? educated about? You, you still support Trump? Trump? No, I got educated that I'm going to get a dollar when the show is over. Oh, no. You, <laughs> that, you had to come get paid, my friend. Oh, he came, yeah, he came for his paycheck. You came for your paycheck. So this is my second appearance, right? <laughs> you get two bucks. You get two bucks. So let's see who out. The guy with the flag. Tell him to come over here. <laughs> the you, big get, flag. you get two dollars, my friend. We'll give it to you. Thank you for that. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. So, I tell you, it, this is an exciting day. I just wish, I just wish my friends in Chicago could be here. I wish Laura Lightfoot could be here. Laura Lightfoot, she's your friend. Governor, well, friends only because she's our mayor. Do you think if Laura she's Lightfoot, she's a one term or two, by the way. Do you think if Laura Lightfoot saw this event today, she might change her mind about Trump? Oh, will Laura Lightfoot change her mind? Let's see. What's it going to take? Mm, a six pack of Millers. Okay. Some Hennessy. So, so to support <laughs> some <Trump>. cannabis. <laughs> so you got to be really intoxicated to support Donald Trump. No, actually, I don't get high. I don't drink any okay. of that stuff. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm You're a basically Trump. Freak. I get off Donald Trump. Mm. You get high. You get high off. Donald I didn't say I get high with President. You get Trump. high off. Donald I would uh, never say that. You get high off him. You get I, high off Donald Trump. Just the, you know, it's like when you run. Or after sex. Okay. Or mm. after a big award or something. It's, mm. it's something up that goes up to your brains. I don't know what that word is. Delusion? It's the, that and another word too. Adrenaline is something like that goes up into your brains. Mm. So when Adderall? I get chance, you know what? I would have been in Chicago and I would not have all been able to talk about President Trump. That's our backup sound. In case we lose the sound, then we'll just tap into him. <laughs> We're gonna bring him over too. That that that'll be another guest for you. That's another dollar. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> You're you making us spend a lot of money here, my friend. Chicago hustler. Come on, now you know we like to hustle. I in like Chicago. that perspective though. High on Trump. Yes. That's yes. cool. Tell us more about that. So you got the teeth though for Trump. Teeth for Trump. Te teeth out for Trump. Mm -hmm. and, and and high toothless with, for Trump. Toothless for Trump. And yeah. high with uh, what's the uh, Biden's son name? Uh, uh, Hunter. No, no, Hunter. We, let's not play with that because there was a moment when the president brought that out. Oh yeah. sure, sure. That he had had trouble with drugs. With drugs which was sad so I think that's a good thing for Biden to do is to go and concentrate on his family sure and his last few days that he have left hopefully I know wait Biden only has a few days left well what do you mean who's gonna hire him not the American people yeah. <laughs> just ask yourself now really would you let Biden at his age and his memory I don't care about his experience because President Trump mentioned it that he had 50 years and he said I've done more in this man in four years than He's done in 50. That but Trump, a, Trump's the one with COVID. <laughs> yeah, but. Because he, he's doing more. He's, he's not, doing more. Yeah, he, he's he, doing more. Would he's you believe more. the country is getting better the last 24 hours? 
But the thing about LA that, that I love the most, it's not just the weather too, by the way. That's, that was another incident. That's good, that's good. <laughs> you wouldn't believe 80% of the people that come to this town from Chicago, they don't go back. Mm. So that's why y'all economy is thrown off. <laughs> you picked up a lot of extra people. Yeah, man, yeah. you are high on Trump. I can feel it. I mean, but who would go back to <laughs> to killing little kids in Chicago? I ain't trying to do that. And yeah. they're anti-Trump president. And guess what? She says she's $900 million and it's a deficit. 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 And she needs you know, that, that too with her. Yeah. <laughs> and she needs the president to bail her out. And I don't think so. Right. Mm. Right. Unless she's ready to knee time. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What's that? Knee time. Oh, knee time? <laughs> All right. Down on your knees and pray. Ooh. Now, there's the, what does that say there? The sacrifice freedom for safety, and we may not do so. They're talking about fake news. And at some point, we're going to have to do something about the fake news. That was the biggest thing. It says the fake pandemic is being used to bring about a new world order. Oh, my God. We sacrifice freedom for safety, and we need not do so. Plandemic indoctrination. Their goal is totalitarian world government. God, world government. Draw the line before they draw it for you. Interesting. Wow. Do you, now, you, no, you, my, you believe in the virus, right? I believe, obviously I do because I have a, I have uh, yeah, a mask. Yeah, I see a good mask. I believe in safety. Mm -hmm. mm. And if the scientists, that, that's the only thing I didn't like. I, I, I disagree, not say didn't sure, like. Sure, sure, sure. I disagree mm -hmm. with the president. Sure. That he made his decision as to how he should approach it. And that's why we put him there. Right, right, right. For him to do that. Right. But it disagreed with his 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 advisors. Sure, sure. Mm. And sometimes that happened. Because let me tell you what, what, what why you got to check your advisors too. Mm -hmm. Johnson, you know what? Thank you, Lord. That's what I need to let the well. He's no, you looked the wrong way. He's over. He's, he's over there. Yeah. Uh. Well, let's see. Where's he at, man? Well. What time is it? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Where's he at? He never. He never <laughs> disappeared. He never disappeared. He might even be down there. You know. <laughs> no, yeah. never down. Okay, what about right there? This is not the Tonight Show what where the guy say Johnny Car Johnny you know Cochran he, is you, looking up at us. You know where he is? He's right everywhere. Here. He's, he's right here. Us. That's right. That's a good he's point. Always. Oh, you guys are you guys are believers? I am. Well, we got to work on him. Yeah, I actually just got converted. Uh, a few I'm weeks actually, ago. to be honest, I'm undecided on the election. I, I so haven't I decided yet. You haven't. I'm an undecided we voter. Got, so what I'm saying and what you're saying is very important. We can, we got another vote, and that's what's going to tilt it. Well, that's what's going to tilt the Convince scale. me. Convince me, my friend. Okay. You, I see you're tall. You like basketball. We're going to let you all play. Come back home from Florida. Okay. You're going to be able to play here in L.A. Yeah! Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. That Chicago yeah. came up. I liked it. <laughs> so the two, three things I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why you, you should vote for the president. Okay. One is you're tall. Okay. And you're gonna be able to play basketball in LA soon. We're gonna celebrate the championship here. Okay. So wait, so if, that's, if hey, I, that's one thing. If I if wait a second, if, if if Trump wins, I'll be able to play basketball in LA. Yeah, well, he's gonna open the country up. Okay, yeah, I like that. Get that back on the court, brother. That's right. See, I didn't even know he was a basketball player, well, did I? Well, I didn't either, but apparently, you know, it's going on. So. Then the second thing is, and this is what we like in black America. Okay. You're going to get another stimulus check before the election. Okay, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but that, all right, okay. So I should vote for That's, him to thank him for that check. Well, if you're African American, oh. you got another check coming. Is he? <laughs> oh. Am I? Let's see. Well, he only need 1%. Oh, really? Oh. You know, and then you're eligible for reparations. I'll ask my mom. And that's, a, <laughs> you, you would have to ask your grandma. Oh, really? You gotta see how far back the, the 1% is. Oh, okay. I tell you what, do you eat red beans and rice? Uh, no, I, no, no, don't answer that. What is do that? you like neck bones? This guy said, what is neck bones? <laughs> Did you say PewDiePie? No, I said neck bones. Oh, okay. Do you like pig feet? Okay. No, uh, you don't like that either, huh? I, I can't understand what you're saying. I like pig feet. Pig feet. Pig feet. Neck oh. bone. Oh, we're okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Neck bone. Oh, this guy, these guys are uh, these guys are Howard Hughes. We're they Howard, Hughes. Touch. Howard Hughes didn't want to touch anything unless Yeah, I'm we're Howard Hughes style. <laughs> and Brian Gumble. Nope, don't bring me anything. I'm sorry. And 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 Hillary Clinton, taste test. You gotta have a taste tester. That's what that is. Like right. kings have. Mm. Okay. So the third thing, I'll let you decide on your own. Okay. Do you wanna be like Joe Biden them, have sex with animals? Joe Biden has sex with animals? Well, the Democratic Party really don't care who you marry. 
You can marry. Oh, they have sex. Interesting. I mean, come on. You, you know the Democratic Party is liberal. So they're so that mean you do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. Really? Uh, it's yeah. like and as many times as you want to do it. I got to say, you're, you're convincing <laughs> me to join the Democrats, my friend. That sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, no, we want to keep you around. No, so. but you don't know how hot my dog is, dude. He does have a pretty hot dog. My dog's don't, pretty hot. Don't do that to Toto. Come on. But he's so attractive. <laughs> but the good thing about L.A. Oh, by the way, L.A. is very attractive. You ride the bus, is free. Mm. So there's no reason for us not to be able to get the Donald Trump, President Trump's literature out mm. because you can ride the bus and see when I go, I always get stickers when I'm passing out literature and you sit on the bus and you just say, ah, that's a nice window and you put your stickers up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so vandalism is okay as long as it's pro-Trump. It, hey, that's mm. right. Mm. But, but if, the, the bad thing about it is you can only do it in one neighborhood because there's only one Republican up in the 50th Ward, Bernard Stone. Mm. He was the only Republican that we had in town. Now, you know, that's sick in itself. Mm -hmm. mm. You have to go to the suburb, but he's booming in suburb. Now, let's, like this, 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 this police or ambulance, mm. you all couldn't record in Chicago because every five minutes you'll see a police going that way, a police going that way, a police going this way, a police going that way. I mean, that's kind of been what's happening here, though. <laughs> I hope that's not a Donald Trump supporter getting beat up. Let's follow that. He's, you know how he did in the old movies. Hey, but if he car, is, right? you know, that's more teeth out for Trump. More teeth out for Trump. God, I, I should have copyrighted that. Stop it's good. Me mm. I should it's copyright mine now, that. bitch. Teeth out for Trump. <laughs> You know, a lot of old people are going to say, Oh, teeth out for mm. Trump. <laughs> put it in the jar. <laughs> put it in the jar. It's called put it in the jar for Trump. Put it mm. in the jar for Trump. Wait, so I have, I have a question. Yes. How do you feel about Trump's uh, reaction when he was asked to denounce white supremacy? Well. When he told the Proud Boys and white supremacists to stand back and stand by. How do you interpret that? I'll tell you how black America has, has portrayed it. Mm. Mm -hmm. The reason we can't blame the President Trump for that too much because black America, we believe in guns. <laughs> you, come on. We enough? believe in the Second Amendment. Mm. How do you think there's a shooting, 50 shootings every day in Chicago mm. and nine killings? So black America, we're not going to criticize Trump right. for telling, what do they call And space. the shootings are good, so you want more of them, right? Listen, the more mayor in Chicago, the shooting, that's more money she can appeal to Donald, President Trump for medical, for mental. Oh, oh, so the shootings are beneficial to have. Well, it's like L.A. Well, L.A. got its benefits, too. And mm. you think they want to get rid of the homeless here? $900 million. Right. I don't think the Democratic so, mayor is so ready to if, get if rid we, of that. If we keep <laughs> Trump in, that's more shootings, which means it's kind of better for everyone. Yeah, I like that. Let's, yeah. let's keep him in. Let's just keep whatever happens as long as he's in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because just like he said, he told him up in Portland. The, the mayor up in Portland was such she's got to be a Democratic mayor. She's talking about, we're having a picnic here. Three people got shot and three people got raped. And she said, we're out having a picnic. What kind of picnic? A California sex party? I shouldn't have said California sex party. No, Why? you love California. You, know, you said, you said we worse get, things. That is what we get <laughs> all of our movies from, right? Yeah. <laughs> not just Jedi or not just Jaws. Mm -hmm. Well, I shouldn't say Jaws, right? Yeah. You should say Jaws. <laughs> you can say, I mean, you've said a lot. Yeah, you can yeah, say anything, can honestly. Say. But I, I'm just so excited about their, 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 that. Is that petition for Donald Trump? Please let me sign it. Oh, listen, he should go. As soon as I'm finished with this, we're going to sign because I hear that he's getting like the Chicago Democrats. Anything goes. And we don't want that to happen at all. All right. Well, mm. hey, you know, welcome to Los Angeles, my friend. It's, 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 it's next to Chicago to beauty, to opportunities, mm -hmm. to corruption. I don't know. You guys aren't corrupt here, are you? No. No. We got free oh, buses. Just a, just a little bit, but it's not too detrimental. <laughs> you wait. are the only corrupt when it comes to homelessness. Mm. Because if you go, wait a minute, this is what I don't understand about Los Angeles. If you go on this side of the street where the Staples Center is, you can't hang out. But if you go across the street on Pecan, what is it called? Pecan or something like that? Pe street? Pecan. You go across the street in Pecan, you can sleep yeah. and put your tent out and everything else. It's pecan. But you can't do it in the Staples Center. Mm. Something wrong with that. Right. Probably Republicans own. Or, or maybe just Staples has a really strict policy on uh, loitering. And, and another thing, too, that the reason I love Los Angeles so much because, you know what we got to do? We got to convert LeBron James. Mm. Once we convert 
convert LeBron James that he is not going to be able to cheat on his taxes as a Democrat. He's got to be a Republican to do that. And I'm not, I'm not targeting the president. Mm. So, the oh, president so if you're a Republican, not. you're allowed to cheat on your taxes. <laughs> business. Republicans are businessmen. Yeah. Smart businessmen, by mm. the way. I, I like wish, that. I wish I could only pay $750 for tax. He's smart. He's smart. Why well, give He's the smart. money to the government so they can give out welfare in Milwaukee? Right. Mm. Food I mean, stamps in Chicago. Or like free buses. That would suck. Yeah. Jesus. Well, I'm not going to get on free buses because <laughs> in LA you can ride free and I'm yeah. enjoying it, baby. Oh, okay. I'm so, really so enjoying yeah. it. I think what it comes down to is, you know, that whole government socialized welfare stuff is good if it benefits you, but otherwise it's not so good. Yes. That's yes. cool. Well, in, in Chicago, they yeah. love Bernie Sanders. Sure. And mm. young people, I don't know what is it about young people and Bernie Sanders. Free dental, free welfare, free free everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, why would we want that? Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't. No. We want to pay the for bus it. Is we want to keep paying for it. No, yeah. I think that we should. We should. Everybody to each, he should go to job, and from sure. each, we should get a nine-hour work from. Him. Okay. Mm. So you think Do you work? Yes, I run a nonprofit in Chicago. Okay. Ooh. Working with ex-felons. Oh, uh -huh. I like that. Ex-cons can vote in Illinois. Good. So I've come here also to do some research mm -hmm. and find out what is the opportunities that they give ex-felons. Mm. Mm. Because in Illinois, the only ex thing an ex-convict can get is his old jail cell back. Mm. But we, and I, I tell you the truth, I got in trouble 40 years ago mm -hmm. mm. and I couldn't get a job. Mm. Mm. That's another thing. In a democratic city, an ex-convict, he, he's worth two cents. Mm. So I'm here to do some research also to find out what is the voting plurality mm. and to inform people the power and just what President Trump has been able to do. Sure. So I'm so proud of President Trump. Well, I hear what you're saying and I... So let me close and leave you guys because I got a, another radio uh, okay. show. <laughs> no. God you don't, you don't have, you don't bless time, Wait. our president Okay. land that we love Good voice. Nice. Stand beside him and guide him hmm. through the days and the storms that will come. Hmm. God bless our president. Hmm. Truly our friend. God Taking the mask off for that part. Our president. Okay. Truly. Our splash zone. In the splash zone. That's got to be worth another dollar, huh? I, hey, I hear you, my friend. Do you have any dollars, Cole? I only have one. We'll That's get all I need is one. That's a soda pop. And a sticker. Thank Thanks for chatting with us. Cutching. Let's wave goodbye and um, say thank you. Thanks Thank for watching, you. everyone. I hope this was informative. Um, that's politics. Welcome to politics, baby. Welcome to music, politics. They're going to roll the music up so we're supposed to keep waving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just keep it. Don't, just don't, keep, don't, keep, keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep we're waving. waving. And just keep it going. And just keep, yeah. And switch hands now, switch hands. Yeah, or you could, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a long, and it's a set, long set, ending song. Set, so yeah. set down the microphone and do a double wave hand. Yeah. Right. Now back to one. Just one hand. Just one hand. Just one hand. Yeah, right thank, thank you. One hand again. Yeah. Okay. And then nod your head down, like a bow. Yeah. So we're about yeah. So we're a bowing. Bow. Yeah. Okay, and we're out. Wait, no, no, no. No, we're not. No, oh, sorry. Uh, the, the, the song's longer than that. Oh, sorry. Too? Yeah, hold on one sec. Huh. And then head up a little bit, and then just back d back down a tiny bit more, and we keep waving. Do we got it? And then, no, and then we stand. There's the, there's the stand wave. Oh, stand wave. That's the stand wave. Yeah. And then we sit just back down. <laughs> And then bow again. <laughs> and then we look up slightly, but then quickly to bow real fast. And then we stand one more time. 
we turn and around and we quick, wave the other way. A quick, slow, oh, slow turn, turn around. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we wave that way. Yeah. Am I waving the yeah. right way? Yeah, 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 yeah wave, you're good. We wave this way. Okay. And then back to the camera. And then we sit. Mm hmm. They call this post production. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then a little higher wave like this. Uh. And then we kind of invert it like so this in case like that. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. Yeah. Thank you. That was great. That was Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, just leave that right there. Have a great day. Take Best of luck. Best of luck. Take Hope care. you get to put your tooth back in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. It's God bless you. Take care. Say something about Democrats. All right. Thanks, guys. Wave a little bit, Cole. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. I mean, just to get a little bit ahead of the insight, just to get a little insight into what's in these guys' heads. Yeah. Really interesting stuff. And it really makes you think maybe the way that I look at the world is actually quite wrong and they're right. Yeah. I... Uh... Who knows? Who knows? Speaking of um, uh, Savior's Fall from Grace. Ah, two, two weeks, weeks ago, ago. Here's a little update. We told everybody to follow a random Instagram account of our choice. Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson. And you all succeeded. You followed him. You tripled his follower went count. From 700 to like 2,400. He, he didn't know. We didn't. We, the rule was you weren't allowed to tell him how or why he was getting these followers. Just mm -hmm. kind of hype him up. Yeah. So you did that. Good and work. then... Last week, we thought it was maybe getting to his head a little bit. We wanted to keep him humble, so we asked you all to unfollow him, and most of you did that. I mean, being humble is kind of what drew us to Mike Johnson in the first place. Uh -huh. But then we kind of felt bad because he lost a 1,000 followers, yeah. and we're thinking, oh, maybe this guy deserves a little bit more. Right, so, so we're going to ask you to please, please re-follow follow Mike, Mike Johnson. Johnson. He is back. Um, Mike Johnson is back. Party is trending. Uh -huh. um, so definitely check that out. Yeah, so. he deserves a little bit of your love. Yeah, so at Mike Johnson. That's it. Exactly how it sounds. And thanks for watching or listening to our show. We're really proud of this one, and um, I hope it got you thinking a little bit about the freaking crazy world out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got me thinking. About, about Support us on Patreon if you want a bunch of bonus stuff. If oh, you, yes. If you're into that. Yes. Yeah. Hour, like 40 hours of stuff. Or and some hours. extra stuff from this episode as well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye. Podcast for I'm catching flight tonight. Oh, you're going to catch a couple yeah. things, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah.